friends, today we are going to be looking at a new coding app. So many of you tried coding Safari and had such a great time that I think it's time to try a new app. So if you are joining us for the first time and missed out on Code Safari, I just want to tell you that coding is a language. It's a language that we're learning and we can tell our computers what to do. So in this case, we will be telling a monkey what to do. So if you missed that, today we are working on an app called Code Monkey. All right, so when we open up Code Monkey, it looks like this. If by chance you get this message, you're going to hit cancel because we're working on the free version. And you will see that we have a monkey, a caterpillar, um, what do you think, a sloth or a tortoise? I'm not exactly sure. Maybe a bear? Kind of tough to tell. And then we have the owl. So you will notice that these are locked, which means we've got to figure out how to do the first um, sequencing before we move on to advanced sequencing. So you will see that there are 12 levels that we need to learn from and um, before we go on to the next one. And you can see that Mrs. Ledford's already been playing um, because she loves it so much. So I've already done 12 levels. So let's start out with level one. And I'm going to tell you, it's going to be super easy if you've done Code Safari, but it does get trickier. So I'm gonna tap it right there. Our job right now is to get the monkey to the treasure chest. So I'm gonna move my iPad up a little bit and you will see that the first round, there is lots of helpful hints and we're going to tap and drag, tap and drag. And now it's telling me to tap the green circle with the triangle in it. And we just wrote our first coding sentence. We told the monkey, move forward to get the treasure chest. And I know all we did was an arrow, but computers speak a different language than we do. So let's, we can do it again, or we can go on to the next one. Well, Mrs. Ledford, why would I wanna do it again? Take a look at these three stars. Our goal is to get three stars at every level. That means we understand what we are supposed to do. When we only get one star, we only have part of an understanding of writing that coding sentence. So I challenge you students to always get those three stars. Go back if you need to. We now have the monkey facing the other direction and you'll notice that there's no hand here telling us what to do. So if I write my code and I write it incorrectly, you will see that I get kind of a sad face. So it gives me a hint and you will see that I got no stars saying, you did not understand which direction the monkey was going, Mrs. Ledford. So I'm going to pull that down and try again, right? Coding is all about trying until we get it right. Fabulous, and I got all three stars. Moving on to the next level, we now have a banana in our, um, in our way, and I kind of think that we're supposed to get our banana because check this out, way up there in the corner is a floating banana. So I am going to move one step. Do you see this block right here? That tells me one step. And now I need a second step. One, two, I did it. I got the banana and the treasure chest, and now I have three stars. All right, superstars, are you ready to move on and try Code Monkey? All right, have a great time today coding, and um, let us know how you liked it. Mm -hmm.